While my sister and I are twins, we've always been different. By the age of two, I was reading books. Missy was content to eat them. By five, I had a healthy appreciation for a well-organized workspace. My sister, less so. <laughs> Which is not to say she doesn't have qualities I admire. Get it, get it. It's just a spider, calm down. It's got eight legs and fangs. I see no reason to be cold. Did you kill it? Yep. Are you sure? You tell me. The bond between twins is an incredibly close one, which is why I moved 1,500 miles to California the first chance I got. Sheldon, are you going to introduce us? Oh, all right. Uh, this is Missy. Missy, this is Leonard and Rajesh, and you've already met Howard. It's nice to meet you. Me too, as well, also. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you two know each other? Oh, he once spent nine months with my legs wrapped around his head. Excuse me? She's my twin sister. She thinks she's funny, but frankly, I've never been able to see it. It's because you have no measurable sense of humor, Shelley. How exactly would one measure a sense of humor? A humor mometer? All I know is he's not in the same grade as me anymore, and I'm thrilled. Good luck with your finger painting. You're going to get your ass kicked in high school. Hey, language. I'm not going to be assaulted. High school's a haven for higher learning. Oh, dear God. At least Dad's on my side. Doesn't matter. Mom's gonna win. She always does. But I have to leave for college at some point. If you went to college, you know what would happen? I'd enjoy higher learning. You would die. You would curl up on the floor and die. That's not true. You can't even take care of your own boo-boos. For your information, every college is staffed with a medical professional. My boo-boos will be well tended to. Sheldon, come back in here. I guess we'll find out what happened. I already know what happened. Mom won. And I had to drop off some papers for Shelly to sign for my dad's estate. The papers could have been mailed. Mom just sent you here to spy on me, didn't she? I guess that's why they call you a genius. They call me a genius because I'm a genius. <laughs> I tell Mom that I currently weigh 165 pounds and that I'm having regular bowel movements. <laughs> Enjoy the wedding. Goodbye. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> if the wedding's not until tomorrow, why don't you stay with us tonight? Oh, I don't think so. Shelly doesn't like company. Even as a little boy, he'd send his imaginary friends home at the end of the day. They were not friends. They were imaginary colleagues. 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. You missed 11 numbers. I don't need to be good at math. I have beautiful hair. That's the saddest thing I've ever heard. You have the coolest excuse. You almost died. Did you see Jesus? I saw Count Chocula. But feel free to mention my brush with death in the note. All right, that's enough talk about death and dying. I came this close to having my own room. Notes for psychology paper. What you doing? Shh. Family conflict has been observed. Subject M and Subject D have opposing views on relocating. You better not be recording over my Janet Jackson tape. Would you please? Who's Subject M and Subject D? I can't tell you that. You might skew the results. OK. Then tell me what skew means. Are you going to talk the whole time? It seems to be annoying you, so yeah. So anyway, we're eight years old, and Sheldon converts my easy-bake oven to some kind of high-powered furnace. <laughs> Just classic. I needed a place to fire ceramic semiconductor substrates for homemade integrated circuits. He was trying to build some sort of arm robot to keep me out of his room. Made necessary by her insistence on going into my room. Anyway, I go to make those little corn muffins they give you. There's a big flash. Next thing you know, my eyebrows are gone. Oh. <laughs> Not your eyebrows? <laughs> yep. I had to go through the entire second grade with crooked eyebrows my mom drew on. Oh. Is that what that was? I just assumed that the second grade curriculum had rendered you quizzical. 